Hi there, welcome to this video on Yuhi Zebra. Today we're going to start a little series where I'm going to show you different types of pads, how to create a basic pad and then taking it through to things like rhythmic pads, gated pads, all kinds of different stuff. So let's just get right on with it. So I'm just going to open up Zebra and as per usual initialize the patch. So just come to patches, local, initialize. So as this is, this is just a basic pad, this is something that you could perhaps at a later date adapt. Basically like a template really, a pad template. You could use it as that I suppose. So we're going to use two oscillators in series and a filter. I'll just turn these two off for a moment. Now the oscillator settings are going to be very basic. We're going to put it onto quad as we're going to do to oscillator 2. We're going to make sure that the width is maximum for the widest possible sound. And we're just going to mess around with the detuning really. So that's one oscillator, let's just detune it. I like that. And oscillator 2 will detune also. So that's given it a nice big rich sound already. But there's not really anything else we need to do. What you should do, I guess, is make sure that both oscillators are on sawtooth. If they aren't, you can just come into your factory oscillators and hit initialize, and they'll both be on sawtooth. So we've got a nice big sound there already. And really, the the magic or the, the pad effect will come from how we shape the envelope. The, uh, this, the, this envelope one's the amplitude envelope. So if we were to do that, for instance, nothing. So it really comes down to... How we really want the uh, the pad to to sound, really, I guess. Not to sound, to move over time. So we'll put quite a bit of release in there, but nothing mental, nothing crazy. And if you want to give your pad a kind of human aspect to it, use velocity. Now that's basically however hard you hit the note the velocity amount will then trigger. So if you hit the note very soft, it will play soft. If you hit the note hard, it will play hard. Now, if you're playing chord sequences using this type of sound, all your notes won't be played at the same strength. So it will give that, it will give your sound a more human feel, which is kind of cool. So just leave the velocity about there. So the next thing we're going to do is add the voltage control filter, just a low pass filter of any kind. Um, I like the low pass vintage too, so I'm just going to use that. I'm just going to bring that down to there at the moment. And basically all we're going to do is use envelopes and LFOs to modulate the cutoff and the resonance frequencies or parameters. Well, both really. So I'm just going to add envelope 2 here and I'm going to add LFO 1 there. So envelope 2, now how are we going to shape this? Again, it depends on the type of pad that you want. But just as this as this is a, a template pad, we're just going to make the most basic of pads here. So I'm just going to put that till about there. And we're going to shape this with perhaps, obviously I want a little bit of velocity because we want that human feel to our sound. Uh, decay, yeah leave it kind of there, release, full actually, and um, we'll put the release full and maybe a little bit of sustain. Now, again, this is just a basic template, remember. We've got that kind of pad deal going on. I know there's a very quick attack. That's because the attack's at zero here, but we're going to leave it at that for a moment so that we kind of work and mess around with some of the other stuff. So the LFO is what's going to give this sound a bit more movement, uniqueness, I guess. We'll put it to 4 to 1. I want it to 
uh, work over a four bar time scale. Uh, we'll bring the amp down a little bit and we're going to use that for the resonance. it's starting to have a little bit more movement there. Now again, you can mess around with these sets to get different speeds. So for instance, if I was to put that to 2 to 1, you can use a different shape if you want. I prefer the same way for my pads. And maybe bring the cut off down a little bit more. Obviously not that far. Maybe vintage isn't the best, let's put it back to Excite. but I prefer that to be at 4 to 1. So there we have a basic pad. Now, even though it is a basic pad, I'm going to add a couple of effects anyway, just to give it a bit more interest. EQ and a reverb. And I'll just put them all on the one channel at the moment. And the delay, well, I like dotted delays, so let me just... quarter dot, change that to eight. Okay, that'll do. And in this instance, I would want my pad to be kind of maybe more of a high frequency kind of dreamy background type deal. Now, a lot of you will be saying, I don't like that initial attack. So all we need to do is just raise the attack amounts. So it's really up to you. Let's just leave them kind of... They'll do for the time being. And reverb... Um, full dry. Yeah, I guess that will do. That sounds not too bad to me. Okay, that's just a basic pad. We're going to move on and get more advanced stuff going on, but that there is your bread and butter.
So that's it. That's our basic pad. I hope you learned something from that. Get it saved. Save it as your, I don't know, pad template, something like that. It's up to you. And we'll move on. See you in the next video. Bye now.